Hey, would you like to control hundreds of metahumans at the same time in the same scene with just few clicks? Well, with metahuman crowd system you can do that. For example, you can ask them to louse. <laughs> If you like music, you can ask them to sing a song. This is a typical stadium song here in Italy. Or you can ask them to chair. Or you can just say, hey guys, hold still. And they will obey you immediately. Well, I've created this system in December 2024 using a real engine 5.5.1 5 point, uh, 5 point, Oh sure, sorry. But for this tutorial series, I decided to use Unreal Engine 5.6 and the new MetaHuman Creator. If you are using an older version of the engine, don't worry because the workflow is identical. So, let's get started. First, go to plugins and make sure MetaHuman Creator is selected. If not, select it and restart the engine. Then, go to the contents folder, right click and select MetaHuman character from the menu. Rename it MH Base Crowd. Open it up and search for Victor in the presets. I use this metahuman because it's the most regular. It's neither too fat nor too thin. This is important for our base metahuman. If you are using the older version of the engine, choose a medium body proportion from the web metahuman creator. In our case, leave all the parameters unchanged, except the height. Go to Model in the Body section and set the height to 175 cm. We need an intermediate height, as it will be assigned randomly by the final blueprint. Now we need to create our first metahuman, and to do so we need to create a full rig and download the corresponding textures. For the crowd I use 4K resolution textures which is more than enough. Once completed, we can assemble the MetaYuma. Select UE Cine Complete and click on the green Assemble button. As you can see, the engine has created a new folder for MetaYuma. I use this color to easily find the folder and generally add it to Favorites. Then open the MetaHuman Blueprint and set the force load to zero. I'll show you why later. Save all and go ahead. Now we need more faces. In this example I'll use seven different faces. So duplicate the MH Base Crowd MetaHuman character. Open it up and remove the rig to modify the MetaHuman. Then go back to the folder and duplicate the file five more times. For each of them you have to create a new face, a different hair, bread and moustache. Now open the second MetaHuman character, change the groom and the face, create a new full rig. There's no need to re-download the textures or change hair, eyes and skin colors. All these parameters will be handled randomly by the blueprint. Repeat the same process for all the remaining MetaHuman characters. As you can see, we have 7 MetaHuman characters, and so 7 different MetaHuman blueprints. With the same body, but different faces, hair, breath and moustache. And now, the last thing we have to do is optimize the textures. Even for the 2K and 4K resolution, the normal texture is always in 8K and we don't need it. So, go to the MetaHumans folder, select the column from the setting menu and use texture as a filter. Click on dimensions to sort by height. 
select all the 8K textures. Right click and choose Texture Resources action. Then reduce size and select the 4K resolution. When we're working with hundreds of metahumans, we need to be careful not to overload the GPU with two large files. Done. Now we have all we need to create the blueprint. That's all for now. In the next chapter, we'll start creating the blueprint that will allow us to control the metahuman crowd. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. In the meantime, enjoy life always and, of course, shop!